This is a surface level overview of inputs and option lists in Morpheus. For a deeper dive, check out our training or our documentation linked below. Inputs are custom input fields that can be added to instance types and layouts, then presented in instance, app, and cloning wizards. When created, inputs are used when provisioning automation workflows for instances. To create an input, go to Library, Options, Inputs, and then click Add. Type the name here. The field name is what the field name property in the input gets set as. The resulting value is available in the instance config map as this field name link. The field name and value can also be exported as tags. The type determines the type of input in the user interface. For information on specific types, check out our documentation linked below. The label is the input label that typically shows up to the left of the custom inputs. Option lists allow you to give the user more choices during provisioning to then be passed to scripts and or automation. Option lists are sets of data that are meant to be associated with inputs so that the user has a list of selections to choose from instead of it being a freeform input. They can be manually entered CSV or JSON. They can be dynamically compiled from REST calls via GET or POST requests or populated by LDAP queries. To create an option list, go to Library, Options, and then Option Lists and then click Add. The displayed fields in the option list window depend on the type selected. REST makes a REST API call to populate the option list. Manual is a manually entered data set. Morpheus API makes a call to the internal Morpheus API to populate the option list. And LDAP searches for and returns a list of Active Directory objects. For information on script inputs for option list fields, as well as how to create each specific type of option list, visit our documentation linked below. One powerful facet of Morpheus inputs is the ability to present users with different lists of input options based on their selections in other inputs within the same wizard or modal. One example is to have a user select the group they wish to provision into, select the target cloud from a list of limited clouds, which are in the selected group, then select the target network from a list of limited networks which are available to the selected cloud and group. This can be accomplished by creating custom option lists that call upon the list of groups, clouds, and networks, and then using those option lists in dependent inputs that cut out what clouds and networks are not available in the selected group. JavaScript request and translation scripts are used to dynamically parse data and filter option lists in dependent fields. You can set the dependency in inputs on creation or on edit. These inputs can then be applied to custom instance types, workflows, or service catalog items when creating or editing them. This has been a surface level overview of inputs and option lists in Morpheus. If you would like a deeper dive, check out our training or our documentation linked below. A link to our forums is also provided if you have any questions. Thank you.